Hey everybody, so this is day 10 of Vlogmas, and today's question is, what is your business, and why did you start it? So, my business, I primarily call myself a virtual business support because I do a little bit of everything. Um, there's a lot of people who specialize in certain things like admin, digital marketing, social media, um, projects, online business management. There is a lot of different niches, a lot of different needs out in the world. Um, but because of who I am, I like doing a little bit of everything. There's only some small things that frustrate me, so I don't do them. Um, but it's a little intro. So my business is basically virtual business support. I uh, primarily work with female entrepreneurs. However, I do have some other clients, and I have helped with various projects because I'm good at just jumping in to things and figuring something out and then doing it for them even if I didn't know how to do it before doing it for them so um and my business is called good things indeed and I'm actually also partnering with someone else who owns root business solutions her name's Robbie Tor and we are created another small company that we're starting up called Smash the Overwhelm, and I'm putting, I'll put the links down below. Um, we want to coach other virtual assistants, and, and in that course, we're only going to cover admin things, like client relationship management software, um, admin support, like literally all admin support, everything that almost every business needs, an admin is needed. So that course is going to be basically all admin. And we are having a live webinar tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll put the link down below. So I kind of have two businesses running, um, main businesses running. I do a lot of things. But basically my business and I have a few clients. And then the course that me and my business partner are making. Um, I do some other things like CPR training and self-defense training and a whole bunch of other things, but my main core business is Good Things Indeed, which was named by my dad's co-worker, who is now my friend, her daughter. She actually named my company. Um, I forgot that, basically, I was looking for a name for whatever I was doing at the time. I think I was making lip balms or necklaces or something, and I needed a name for, like, my Facebook page, so that's where that came from, and it just stuck because it's good. Well, it's Good Things Indeed. <laughs> And so why did I start it? So Good Things Indeed evolved from me making some homemade items and selling them to now my business where I actually have established clients. You know, I do the full, uh, it's, a, it's a DBA, so it's registered with Los Angeles. And I have a business account and everything. It's completely legit. It's not like just a tiny little thing, which is totally fine to start out with. But I do it completely legit. So it depends on on exactly how the question is meant. I guess I'll answer it in two different ways. Um, let me think for a second, actually. Let me look at the question one more time. Yeah, why did you start it? So, it's complicated. I, why did I make it legit? Let's go with that first. Um, because I knew this was something that was actually something it wasn't one of the random things I was doing an MLM thing that I was doing which no hate to anybody who actually does MLMs I've done a few I'm not a salesperson like I said I can do a little uh, um, a little bit of everything but there's some things that frustrate me and sales is definitely one of them I am not a salesperson I can never I mean people tell me I'm pretty good at talking about items but I cannot close a deal on items or selling things and a lot of the times I ended up in MLMs that I didn't even like all the products and then it turned into the whole not every MLM is very vegan friendly so all that stuff but um, I wanted to make it completely an actual business so that's why I filed in why I started I guess that phase of it um, back in March but technically I've been doing this type of work freelancing for years and I've also done this type of work in traditional jobs basically all of my working life since I was like 17. Actually, technically, I started working in an office when I was very small. My mom's work. I learned how to copy. I learned how to 
facts. I learned how to do all that. So I've always been an office person. I've always been a person who's good at figuring things out. Um, my dad was an IT guy when I was growing up, so I'm good at computers. Um, I'm good at technology in general. So it was just something that was very natural for me. And I did things for free for a few people. I was just helping them out. And then I actually started working for people. And I wasn't using contracts yet. And I wasn't actually invoicing yet. It was kind of like PayPal, like PayPal me type of things. Or they would give me cash. It was somebody in person. Um, but I wanted to make it a business. So now I use contracts. Now I use invoices. Um, now, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with my own boundaries with my job to make sure that people understand that I'm running a business and I have my own business expenses now. So I can't just be doing things for free for people unless I offer to do them for free. And I totally don't, I mean, I do that sometimes. I'll offer, I'm like, yeah, I can take care of that for you if you want me to. It's no charge, it's fine. Especially if it's something little for me, I'll do it. But there's a reason why people are very, like, they stick to their rates if you when you start getting into like world of virtual assistants or digital marketing or anything like that. There's a reason why they make their rates and there's a reason why they have their boundaries. It's it's kind of like any any policy in any business. If you think about it, there is somebody is a reason that the policy came about. And sometimes it's just for ease of operation. Sometimes it's because it was a bump in the road that they want to make sure they don't hit again. Um, so it's a lot of different re things, and I think I'm going off on a tangent. I can talk about my business all day long, which is going to be fun for the webinar that I mentioned tomorrow because we're going to have an hour of talking about how important virtual assistants are and, you know, finding your worth or finding your, your, your like, literally your worth inside so you can actually show everybody how amazing you are. Um... Because, unfortunately, and it's just a reality, especially for female assistants, they're, some of them are very um, soft and don't, it's just, it's just basically how, you know, media or her life basically trains you to be. Um, here's a good example. In my self-defense classes that I teach, basically the first thing we teach is how to use your voice. And that is so important to be confident with yourself and to find your voice and to be okay with um, asking for something or telling somebody no in that in that situation, like self defense, saying no, or um, or in your business, you know, you have to be confident in what you're doing. But also for anybody who's not in a business, if you're just watching this, just finding your voice is very important. Being able to be comfortable with yourself when you're talking, um, comfortable with what you want to say and what you don't want to say. You, you know, you don't have to tell everybody everything if you don't want to. But if you are confident and you want to, go right ahead. I mean, just don't hurt feelings. It's too badly, anyway. Unless you deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and so, back to the main question, because now I'm rambling. Um, I'm for virtual business support, and I started it because it's something I love doing. And it's... Well, for the actual money side of it, eventually it's going to help me hopefully pay off my student loans a lot quicker um, because I'm using my traditional job to pay, you know, my, my actual my bills. And then when my job or sorry, when my business is to the point because I'm saving money, I'm not like using money in my business and just kind of holding it. And there's a reason for that. I just want to be in my own personal money anymore because that's how I started it, putting my own money in. So now it's kind of running itself. So I'm not putting any more money into it. So eventually when I pay myself out of it, that's going to start paying for my personal debt that I'm trying to get out of. So there's a few different reasons I started it. One, I love it. Two, I need it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know if you are somebody who's looking for another way to bring in income and you like doing admin stuff and you like being online, I'll put the webinar link below so you can learn more. But um, if you do sign up for the webinar, I'll see you tomorrow, at, tomorrow, December 11th, if you're coming live. Um, there will be a replay for anybody who does sign up. Uh, the replay will be limited, so it won't be just playing forever. So if you're watching this video in like a year, it might be down. Um, I'll try to update the link down below if it is down. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 11. And that one, let's see. 
want to tackle kind of an easier question tomorrow because tomorrow's kind of going to be a interesting day with my webinar and everything but mm, I think I'm going to pick where do you want to travel and why yeah that'll be my day 11 for tomorrow so have a good Sunday bye